Good morning everyone, dear children, today I am explaining expansion lesson problem. I will read the question, listen carefully. If x is not equal to 0 and x plus 1 upon x is equal to 2, then show that x square plus 1 by x square is equal to x cube plus 1 upon x cube is equal x power 4 plus 1 upon x power 4 children. Now, in the given question, x plus 1 upon x value is equal to 2 is there. Then we are showing this x square plus 1 upon x square value is equal to this term value is equal to this term value. The three terms value we will get equal values children. How we will get from the given data. Coming to the solution part, x plus 1 upon x is equal to z children. Now, this is given data. We are showing first this value we will find out children. See, by using the data we will find out each term value. x square plus 1 upon x square value want means, see, you know relation what is a given data and the showing part term is this power having 1, this power having 1. But, but these two terms power having 2 only means, see we are doing for this one children, squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides children. Now what happened, look here, see this left hand side, x plus 1 upon x whole square is equal to 2 square, understanding children. Now, this one expanding by using the a plus b whole square identity children. You know, see, a square means x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 into a into b value 1 upon x is equal to 2 square means 4 will come children. Understand? a square plus b square plus 2ab is equal to 2 square means 4. What can I do? Here small uh, cancellation is it? Numerator x, denominator x cancel. Remaining terms x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 only. 2 into 1 into 1 only 2 is equal to 4 came children. Now finally, I want only this term value children. I want only this term value. See this constant transport to right side what happened? See x square plus 1 upon x square is equal to 4 minus 2. Then finally, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 will come children. Understand? x square plus 1 upon x square value got finally 2 children. Okay. Now, uh, that one, x square plus 1 upon x square value we got is equal to 2 children. Now, coming to that next term, what is it? x cube plus 1 upon x cube children. Now, again ch uh, children, the given data I will write down x plus 1 upon x is equal to 2 is it. See, given data, x term 1 is there, x, uh, x power 1 is there, x power 1 is there, children. But here term, showing power term, x power 3 is there, here also x power 3 is there. Means, we are doing for this one, cubing, cubing on both sides, children. Cubing on both sides. What happened? You know, children, everyone? See, uh, x plus 1 upon x whole cube is equal to 2 cube will come children. Now children, x plus 1 upon x whole cube, this is in the form of a plus b whole cube. a plus b whole cube identity, you know children, a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b will come children. This is the main identity, you know, but here, in the place of a, x is there. In the place of b, 1 by x is there. See, I will substitute the a value, b value. Instead of a, b, I will substitute x, 1 upon x. Now, I will continue here only. See, a cube means x cube, identity plus, next b cube, b value, 1 by x cube, identity sign plus, 3 into, again a value, x, b value, 1 upon x, into a plus b, a value x plus 1 upon x is equal, 2 cube means, you should multiply 2 on 3 times, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8 will come children. Understanding, this left hand side term, 
by using the identity of a plus b whole cube i expand it children a cube plus b cube plus 3 ab into a plus b is equal to 2 cube value okay what is next step children simplification is there what is the simplification look here children see x square x cube as it is plus 1 upon x cube as it is no simplification but here simplification is a see 3 into x into 1 in numerator term upon x is there the numerator x denominator x cancel understanding plus 3 as it is instead of x plus 1 upon x i will substitute the value is equal to 2 children is equal to 8 understand see i substituted here x plus 1 upon x value i substituted 2 only now what is the next step see I am finding the second term value x cube plus 1 upon x cube value want means you should keep in the left side remaining constant transfer to right side. What happened look here children. Now next step x cube plus 1 upon x cube in left side. This constant go to that side is equal to that right side constant 8 as it is. This 3 to the 6 became that side go it will go minus 6 is equal to 2 will come 8 minus 6 became 2 only finally we got the answer x cube plus 1 upon x cube is equal to 2 only children understand is is it see now showing part first part and second part value x square plus 1 upon x square value we got 2 similarly x cube plus 1 upon x cube value also we got 2 these two values equal came finally last term x power 4 plus 1 upon x power 4 is here what to do but given term x plus 1 upon x is equal to 2 is here see but this one for this one i will use this uh, term value children understand x power x square plus 1 upon x square is equal to 2 for this one if i did uh, squaring on both side this became a square a square means x square whole square x square whole square became x power 4 will come this term value will come see now i i will use this value x square plus 1 upon x square value what is it 2 is it this by using this value i will find out this value children now children this term i will write down here x square plus 1 upon x square is equal to 2 only see i want this term value children this term want means see x square plus 1 upon x square for this term if i did square means we will get a plus b whole square identity that identity expanded means we will get x power 4 only i will show look here carefully children now i am doing squaring on both side squaring on both side what happen you know children squaring on both side this is a term plus b term whole square will come look here children very easy x square plus 1 upon x square is a left hand left hand side terms whole square is equal to 2 square what is the right hand side 2 for that one also i am doing square now this one i am expanding by using the identity a plus b whole square don't think this is x square this is x square okay this is the, consider a this is b a plus b whole square identity you know children everyone know that a square plus b square plus 2a will come a value x square for this one we are doing square a square plus b term 1 upon x square whole square b square plus 2 into a value x square b value 1 upon x square is equal left hand side expansion over a square plus b square plus 2 a value x square b value 1 upon x square is equal to 2 square means 4 will come children what is the next step very easy is it x square whole power 2 is a means x power 4 will come plus 1 square means 1 will come x square whole square means x power 4 will come again now here plus as it is 2 as it is see numerator x square denominator x square cancel why because these two terms are product cancel cancel remaining 1 into 2 2 only is equal to 4 as it is now what we want here x power 4 plus 1 upon x square value 1 means this term only i want this constant transfer to right side what happened finally x power 4 plus 1 upon x power 4 is equal to 4 right hand side 4 is a left hand side term goes to that side minus 2 is equal to finally we got 2 only hence finally x power 4 plus 1 upon x power 4 value is equal to 2 finally what we got children i will write the conclusion here don't take confusion hence 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 see we know the first term 
x square plus 1 upon x square value is equal to second term what is it x cube plus 1 upon x cube value also we know that 2k is equal to x power 4 plus 1 upon x power 4 is equal to 2 ends proved children understand easy is it this term also we got to this term also we got to this term uh, uh, value also we got 2 only because hence these three terms are equal hence proved that's all easy is it children now children I am explaining one important note point before you the note point I will take one identity you know children x square minus y square identity expansion what will come x plus y into x minus y will come you know this two product is equal to this will come x square minus y square understanding children okay similarly I will give one important note point children look here here first point a plus b plus c like three terms on uh, trinomial is a exp ex expression another one product a plus b minus c is a children see this one we are writing in this forum children see now like this look here comparison what is it see i will show look here a plus b one term c one term a plus b one term c one term observe here in the place of x what is it a plus b is it in the place of y what is it c is it x plus y into x minus y is equal to what will come x square minus y square shall i write here like children look here in the place of x what is it in the place of x, a plus b is in the place of y, c is it. Here also x, y. x plus y, x minus y. Is it equal to x square plus x square minus y square? Like a plus b whole square minus y value c square. This is only easy. Understanding children. Instead of this two product, we will write directly a plus b whole square minus c square children. This is point number one note point. Like a any uh, three terms like this a plus b plus c into a plus b minus c came is we will write directly a plus b o square minus c square second point coming to the second point children this is same term only but sign interplace changing see a plus b plus c is here but here a minus b plus c is here look here children very important point here look here a plus b plus c into a minus b plus c is here. See, look here. Now I am small changes I am doing here. Very important. Look here. See, now a plus c I will do one group plus b one group. Okay. Why I am doing you will understand next step. a plus c I will do one group minus b another one group. Understand it. See, I now I am considering a plus c is x, b is y. Here also a plus c is x, b is y. Means x plus y, x minus y. What happened? x square minus y square will come. Understanding why I wrote understanding. X term what is it? a plus c whole square. x square. x term is a plus c whole square. Minus y term is b. That is b square. Understanding. Like, uh, like a plus b plus c into a minus b plus c k means the minus b term I wrote in last term. C I took one group. A plus C, A plus C, understand it. A plus C was square minus B square is equal to A plus C plus B into A plus C minus B, like this only. You will rearrange the terms after you will write in this forum by using this identity. Last third point, similarly, third point you will understand. Look here, very easy is it? Enough, 2 is enough. Similarly, third point you will understand. Let's, I'll continue some problem, brace run this. Uh, properties okay now i will use this property and i will explain i will solve the problem children now children i am expanding this uh, two products children this two product i am expanding by using the note point note point you know that children a plus b plus c into a plus b minus c is equal to what happened like this similar problem is there that property i will use here to expand now i am doing the group children look here 3x plus 5y plus 2z Three terms they have positive sign. Here three x is having positive sign, five y is having negative sign. This is having positive sign. The negative sign term I will write last term. This term I will interchange. Understanding children? Now I am interchanging the place only. Now I am interchanging the place in this term only. Now this one I will write on as it is. 
3x plus 5y plus 2z as it is. Close the bracket. This one, see, I will also here interchange. Why? Because how will I interchange? Like here also I will interchange. Don't take confusion. Look here. This term I will write here. This term I will write here. How we are interchanging in this terms, in this group, here also I will interchange. 3x plus 2z plus 5y. Okay. This we will consider a term. This is b term. Now, 3x, this comes to this side, plus 2z minus 5z. Okay. Understand each other. 3x plus 2z, 3x plus 2z, one term. 5y, 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 one term. Look here in between. This in between plus is there. This in between minus is there. Means you know the identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square identity. a square minus b square identity you know children. See this is a term plus b. a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. I will substitute that one. a value what is it? 3x plus 2z whole square minus b value 5y whole square children. Now children see look here this is a term plus this is b term into a term minus b term is equal to a square minus b square we got children. Next step this is in the form of a plus b whole square. I will expand by using the a plus b whole square identity a square plus b square plus 2ab. A term is 3x whole square plus b term is 2z whole square plus 2 into a, a term is 3x b term is 2z minus 5y, 5y whole square as it is children. Understanding this one I expanded by using the a plus b whole square identity. I will write this one now. So I am using a plus b whole square identity is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab children. A value 3x, b value 2z. A square plus b square plus 2ab minus this term as it is. Now I am removing that uh, simply, I am doing simplification. Look here. 3x whole square means this square applying 3 also x also. 3 square means 9 into x square plus this square applying 2 and z also. 2 square means 4z square plus 2 3s are 6. 6 2s are 12xz. Minus 5 and y having square means 25 y square. That's all. This much only children. This two product we expanded by using this identity a plus b into a minus b square a square minus b square. We got 9x square plus 4z square plus 12xz minus 25y square is the final answer children. This is a do it. Now one more question children. The sum of two numbers is 9 and their product is 20. Find the sum of their case number 1. Sum of their square. One question. Another question. Sum of their cubes. First given data the sum of two numbers is 9. Let the two numbers be. numbers be x and y children. I consider the two numbers we don't know the two numbers be x and y. See now next step according to according to given condition. What is there according to the given condition? Sum of the two numbers is 9. This two sum x plus see point number 1 x plus y is equal to 9 will come. Sum of these two number is 9. See, according to case number 2, their product, this two product, x into y is equal to 20 will come children. By using these two condition, we are going to finding the sum of their square. Sum. Now children, case number 1, what is their sum of their squares? See, case number 1, sum addition of these two squares means x square and y square sum of their squares value i want children this is case number one how to find this value very easy 
observe the condition according to the given first condition x plus y is equal to 9 is there if i uh, do this one whole square means what happen x square plus y square plus 2 into xy is equal to 9 will come 9 square will come understand now i will take from see now i am taking from 1 what is that from 1 what is that one x plus y is equal to 9 is there now i am doing for this one squaring on both side squaring on both side children very easy look here now what is the next step see x plus y whole square is equal to 9 square see from the one data i return here squaring on both side i am doing okay next step this one in the form of a plus b whole square what happened a square means x square plus y b square means y square plus 2 into a b means a value x b value y is equal to 9 square means 9 9 is 81. Next step, I want only x square plus y square only. This term don't want. What to do? Very easy. x square plus y square I will write down here only. Plus 2 into x y value we know according to the case number 1. From to what is it? x y is equal to 20 is it? Data product of there 20 i will substitute here 20 is equal to 81 what is the next step x square plus y square i will write in left side only right side 81 as it is this one goes to that side it became negative term 20 into 2 minus 40 is equal to 81 minus 40 means children see 1 minus 0 1 8 minus 4 became 4 will come finally we got the answer x square plus y square is equal to 41 is the case number 1 answer. We find out the sum of their square, x square and y square, their sum is value is 41 only children. Similarly, we will do, we are finding the sum of their cube also, same method children. Now children, case number 2, finding the sum of their cubes, sum of their cubes, x cube plus y cube value 1 children. See. Again, I will take from 1, from from 1, what is there from 1? From 1, x plus y is equal to 9 is there. For this one, I will do cubing on both sides. See what I am doing? Cubing on both side children. Very easy. Next step, look here. x plus y whole cube is equal to 9 cube. See, this one in the form of a plus b whole cube identity you know children a plus b whole cube identity a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b should remember properly in the place of a x is there in the place of b y is there i will write a value x b value y like this i will expand by using this identity next step x cube plus y cube plus 3 into in the place of a b product x into y into x plus y identity a plus b in the place of a plus b x plus y is equal to 9 cube means should multiply 3 times 9 cube value 9 cube is 729 will come you should multiply properly 9 into 9 into 9 we will get 729 only children ok this value I substituted 9 cube value now I want only these two terms value, remaining term transfer to right side, but simplification is it, x cube plus y cube as it is, plus 3 into, in the place of xy product, what is there, xy product value, 20 is there, x plus y value, what is there, 9 is there, is equal to 729, which which value I substituted, I will write here, xy value 20, x plus y value 9. I substituted here children. Understanding x y value 20, x plus y value 9 I substituted. Finally, x cube plus y cube, x cube plus y cube plus C. 3 to the 6. It became 3 into 20, 60. 60 into 9, 60 into 9. 540 will come children. Is equal to 729. Okay, finally, I want only x cube plus y cube is equal to the right hand side 729 is there. This minus uh, plus 540 go to that side minus 540 children. This two subtraction we will get 9 minus 0 9 
2 minus 4 is not possible. 12 minus 4, 8. Then remaining 6 minus 5, 1. The final answer is x cube plus y cube value is equal to 189. Finally, we got the sum of their square is, we got that value. Uh, sum of their cube also we got. Easy is a good lecture.